Daryl, thanks for joining us today. Is the market going to crash? What's the market doing? <laughs> it's, it's important to know the specifics of what's happening in each uh, region. The Palos Verdes market is different than the beach cities, which is different than the west side. Yeah, everything's different. So what's going on in the beach cities? First of all, I have to take a little video there. It's just me <laughs> and the dying. It's James. Here we are on stage. Look at you guys. All right. <laughs> This is all about know your market and don't pay attention to what's on the news. I'm gonna look at the beach cities, Redondo, Manhattan, Hermosa, medium price and closed sales because that's how you can tell if there's a shift in the market. Let's do this. Oh, sorry, this is a different tone. Sorry, <laughs> never mind. Let's look at medium price in Hermosa Beach. Look at last year, look at this year. What do you see? Up 5.3% in the medium price. Sold inventory. Look at last year, look at this year. Last year is in the yellow, this year is 96. Hmm, what's going on? Down 31%. Manhattan Beach, medium price is up. Manhattan Beach, sold inventory is down. See a pattern? 30%, that's a giant number. Redondant Beach, up 15%. Sold inventory, this is all January through June, wow. down almost 30%. See the pattern? Prices are up and the inventory is down. Hmm, it looks like we're in a real estate market slowdown, doesn't it? If you just look at that, you would go, huh, there are less homes being sold, so we must be crashing. Well, let's go look at new listing. Last January through June in Hermosa Beach, down 29%, down 31%, Manhattan Beach. Redondo Beach, down 22% from last year in new listings. So what does all that mean? It's so easy to go, well, just not as many homes being sold, which is true. And that's what the news wants to talk about, right? The inventory is still super low. We're gaining some of it back, but we're still not hot seller's market, it's just not stupid hot like March. Then I thought, I just don't have enough info. So I thought the last kind of real normal year we had was in 2019, right? But look at the new listings from 1920 pandemic, 21, ridiculous. And we're still under what was kind of normal in 19. And in, when we started the pandemic, remember we were in an inventory crisis. Okay, Manhattan Beach, same pattern, look at, 356 in 2019, 244 listings in this year. <laughs> Redondo Beach, same thing, huge differences. What do you get from all of that? Careful what you say, you guys. I've been hearing people saying, oh my God, it's just like last time, it's just like 09, 08. Oh, we're gonna crash, we're in a bubble, blah, blah, blah. But if you know your numbers, like I just showed you in, in your little niche that you're in, your zip code or whatever, those numbers are talking and not saying what the news is saying. So a little fun fact that I'm gonna be done. LA County has over 10 million people in it. LA County is the 10th largest state in the United States. How many submarkets are in LA County? Over 10 million, like it's just ridiculous. So don't look at LA County data, look at your own data. Thank you, Daryl, I appreciate it. Fun.